Choices in Skyrim. Kill or keep Barbus. Werewolf or vampire? None of them are near as important or character defining as this one right here. For me, it's absolutely no debate but we'll see if my opinion or what my opinion is later in the video. And you know the two things that I love most, White Run and Poles, baby. So let's go on ahead and see what you guys think about this question. Should we kill Cicero? And with over 10,000 votes and 92 comments, it's very close to a split decision. 45% say no, they don't kill Cicero. And 55% say yes, they do kill Cicero. And I think this should be much more one-sided and it's not really a debate because this is a simple question, ladies and gentlemen. But first, obviously Astrid has to die. That's no question. She betrayed the whole Dark Brotherhood. Has to die, right? And it seems to me that Cicero gets much more grace than Astrid does. This has always puzzled me and people even use him as a follower, which puzzles me even more. But nevertheless, let's dissect this argument in the canon lore friendly way that all Dark Brotherhood disputes should be handled with. But first, we have to know the five tenets, which is the rules, the Ten Commandments uh, equivalent to the Christian faith, would be the five tenets to the Dark Brotherhood. So let's go through the first one, never dishonor the Night Mother. The second one, never betray the Dark Brotherhood. The third one, never disobey a direct superior. The fourth one, never steal from the other members of the Dark Brotherhood. Number five, never kill another member. Very simple, very straightforward. So you can refer back to this section of the video when when we talk about them in depth. So has Cicero broken any of these tenants? Considering these tenants are the reason that Astrid deserves death when arguing about it online anyway. That's the big argument for Astrid's death. Tenant number one, never dishonor the Night Mother. Safe to say, no, he hasn't done this one, at least on screen. Tenant number two, never betray Dark Brotherhood. Not even a question. Obviously, he has done this one. Ask Vizara and Astra's husband, whom I will not divulge the name of. Tenant number three, never disobey orders from a superior. And to be transparent, I don't know exactly where he is on the pecking order, but wherever he is, it's above everyone in the sanctuary, but below the player character, below the listener. So, no, he's not guilty for this one. Dot, 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 yet. Tenant number four, never steal, and there is no evidence that he has ever stole anything. So, in Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. Let me know down in the comment section below if there is an instance where Cicero has ever stolen from the Dark Brotherhood. Tenant number five, never kill another member. And while he tries to and almost succeeds in killing a large portion of the Dark Brotherhood, which I'll say is two people, but still, he's guilty. Not only does he kill, try to kill Vizara and Astra's husband, he tries to kill the player character, which is directly against the player character's wishes, considering they infinitely respawn. Therefore, breaking tenant number three, three in the end, disobeying the orders of a direct superior, making him guilty of three out of five, which we know by the quest eternal exile, he deserves to be expelled at the bare minimum. The secret sixth tenant being incredibly and insufferably annoying to the player character at all times, of which he is definitely guilty. And not so sadly, the punishment is always death for breaking the sixth tenant. But I've been known to be incredibly harsh, and I know this is, this was old me. I'm a new Skyrim player now. I'm a new, I've, I've had some kind of a renaissance. I have, I have a, a burning desire of nostalgia. So let's see what I do when faced with a choice myself. What will I do? Time to die or there is only one cure for madness, Cicero. Me. Time to die, traitor. All right, I'll let you live. Oops. Oops. Actually, come over here, Cicero. Make it a little easier on me. Come on, bud. Come on, Cicero. You can get up. You. That was a disgusting noise. All right, we'll take Cicero's clothes because they're unique. Take our arrows back. And I always do this just to add a little bit of flavor if I ever come back here. And he's very, very light. So we'll just go on ahead and put him right there where he belongs. Big Jake will get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> nice and smoked. Let's see what we get as some loot. Uh, nothing that's any good. If you want to see if you chose wrong in the Mask of Clavicus Vile or the Rueful Axe, watch this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate all the support lately here on the channel. Already closing in on 17,000 subscribers, which is insane. Anyway, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. But above all else, don't forget to read your Bible. Don't forget to pray. We just had Easter, so be sure to read your Bibles. Go down to the bottom of the description and read the verse of the video. I do that for you guys, a little devotional thing. Nonetheless, guys, thank you for your time. Have a blessed day. Peace out.